You are most welcome to Our Lady of Africa. Dear brothers and sisters, in this holy sacrifice, 96 compliments, students are going to receive the sacrament of confirmation. Yes, Our Lady of Africa is going to receive the sacrament of confirmation. And 46 students are going to receive the sacrament of solemn commitment in prayer. At this moment, let me invite our dear chaplain, Reverend Father Ger Dr. Gerald, Dr. Gerald Buen, who to welcome the bishop. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good and that's his nature. Dear friends, I want to take this chance to welcome you all to this celebration. Join me welcome Pope Christopher Kakosa, the Bishop of our diocese. We are 
also honored to have amid us a number of priests, numbered among them our parish priests, and also join me to welcome our dear parents in a special way. You are most welcome. I invite you also in a special way to welcome our confirmants and the Bagwale for final commitment. <laughs> our dear visitors and parents and our students. Also I also want, you, want to I ask you to give your hands. Welcome our directors and the administration of our Lord of Africa. I now take this honor to request our bishop to lead us in mass. Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may take of us a perfect temple of his glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The reading is coming from the book of Prophet Isaiah. In this reading, the prophet points to the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let me please invite Carter Julius to take the first reading. Let us march on. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, there shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall go out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide the equity for the meek of the earth, the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Our response is Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the
second reading is coming from the book of Galatians. In this reading, St. Paul reminds us that the desires of the spirit are against the desires of the flesh. This continues to remind us about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, walk by the Spirit, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you would. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with their passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit, the word of the Lord. Mary, please all rise with joy to welcome the gospel.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and went to the synagogue, as was his custom, on the Sabbath day. And he stood up to read, and there was given to him the book of the prophet. He opened the book and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down and the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke well of him and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. The Gospel of the Lord. sisters, dear fathers, the proprietors of this school, the director, I thank you very much for inviting me to come and preside over this celebration. Dear students and dear parents, Jesus Christ promised us the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit would help us in our life. Today, Jesus Christ is going to send the Holy Spirit to some of the members of this community. They are going to receive the sacrament of confirmation. Let us remember that in order to become a Christian, there are three important moments where you receive three sacraments. The first one is baptism. The priest pours water on your forehead or anyone who is baptizing pours water on your forehead 
with the words I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. After baptism, you are required to come back again to receive that is the moment. Today, the members of this community, some of them are going to receive the Holy Spirit through the laying on of hands of a bishop. The third moment is to receive the bread of life, the bread of angels, the body and blood of Christ the Holy Eucharist. We have seven sacraments. Three of them are known as sacraments of Christian initiation. You may receive or receive other sacraments. If you are a priest, you are not going to receive the sacrament of matrimony. If you have received the sacrament of matrimony, you may not receive the sacrament of ordination. When we are sick, we ask for the sacrament of anointing. You may be anointed or not anointed. That will depend on the circumstances. But three very important moments and sacraments is baptism, confirmation, and Holy Eucharist. Confirmation will give you the seven gifts of the Spirit. But since the Holy Spirit is bigger than the whole world because the Holy Spirit is God. Therefore, his gifts are many, uncountable. We can only enumerate seven, but there are many gifts of the Holy Spirit which we receive. Today we congratulate candidates, we congratulate the confirmants who are going to be confirmed, and we ask God to bless you and strengthen you to be strong in faith. The Lord be with you. May all candidates for confirmation please come forward.
may sing a song to the Holy Spirit as the confirmants come. was Lord of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Dear beloved, let us pray to God the Father Almighty for these his adopted sons and daughters already born again in the life of baptism that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing, conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. May we stand. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these servants to the new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin. Send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of fear of the Lord. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Now we are going to anoint you with holy oil, prism. We 
shall make a sign of the cross on your foreheads, and you will answer, Amen. Amina. Amina means I accept the Lord as my Savior all my life until I die. So you will say, Amen. And then you will have been confirmed.
invite the candidates for the last commitment. here who are in front of us were baptized when they were children, babies, so they could say nothing. They could not answer the priest. Do you reject Saturn? They could not 
Now you can answer. But before you could not answer. So the church calls you back. Now you have grown up. You have to speak for yourselves. So now you are going to speak for yourself what your parents spoke on your behalf. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. God bless you and help you to keep what you have promised the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit congratulations Prayers of the faithful. For these his servants, whom the gift of the Holy Spirit has confirmed, that planted in faith and grounded in love, they may bear witness to Christ the Lord by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, graciously hear. For their parents and sponsors, that by word and example, they may continue to encourage those whom they have sponsored in faith to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear, up, hear us. For the Holy Church of God, together with Francis our Pope and Christopher our Bishop and all the bishops that gathered by the Holy Spirit the church may grow and increase in unity of faith and love. Until the coming of the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, gracious, hear us. For the whole world, that all people who have one maker and father may acknowledge one another as brothers and sisters without discrimination of race or nation and with sincere hearts seek the kingdom of God which is peace and joy in the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, gracious, hear us. God, our Father, we ask you for what we have explicitly spoken out, that there are those that are deep inside us which we have not expressed we ask you to grant them also and we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we all prepare for the time of offertory.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable before the Lord our God. Yeah. Receive in your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that being conformed more perfectly to your Son, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him as they share in the memory of his redemption, by which he gained for us your Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just a duty and a salvation of the Son. The same Spirit as the Church came to birth opened to all people the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs>
get to straight by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this sword of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection till you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity. Together with Francis the Pope, and the Feast of our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Please remain in the church where you are as the priests are coming towards you.
Charles Bray. Anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all the trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity foster her growth in the world through Christ our Lord. Virgin Mary, most powerful, and Mother Your of mercy, mercy Queen, Queen of, of heaven, heaven and, and refuge, refuge of sinners, sinners. We, we consecrate ourselves to your immaculate heart. We consecrate to you our very being and our whole life, all that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To you we give our bodies, our hearts and our souls. To you we give our homes, our families and our country. We desire that all that is in us and around us may belong to you and may share in the benefits of your motherly benediction and that this act of consecration may be truly efficacious and lasting. We renew this day at your feet our promises of our baptism and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves to profess courageously and at all times the truth of our holy faith and to live as befit Catholics who are duly submissive to the Pope and all bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves to keep the commandments of God and his church, in particular, to keep holy the Lord's day. We likewise pledge ourselves to make the consoling practices of the Christian religion, and above all, holy communion, an integral part of our lives in so far as we shall be able to so do. Finally, we promise you, O glorious Mother of God, to devote ourselves wholeheartedly in order to hasten and assure through the sovereignty of your adorable Son in our own hearts and in those of all people, in our country, and in all the world, as in heaven, so on earth. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. I take this opportunity to thank our Bishop, Bishop Christopher Kakosa, for celebrating this sacrifice of Mass. I thank all the priests who have concelebrated Mass with him. I thank our Director, Mr. Matovu Vincent, for organizing this wonderful function and the parents who have attended. I thank the choir that has animated this Mass and everyone who has fully participated in the Mass. 
I invite Father Gerard Buenvu to introduce all the other priests. Thank you, our MC. In the first place, I want you to put your hands together to thank our Lord Bishop for joining us in this Mass. Bishop, we are so grateful as, co as the community of our Lord of Africa. Now with us here, we have been joined by a number of priests, many of whom you know because they usually come here to give you the sacrament of penance and some to celebrate Mass on the different occasions. I will begin with our parish priest. You know him so well. Reverend Father Ignatius Loyola Chizwendi, the parish priest of Namiriango Parish. The next to him is Father Joseph Nsoboga. Father is the deputy head teacher of St. Francis Borgia, our neighbors here. Father, thank you for joining us. Next to him is Father Everest Katerega. Father Everest Katerega works in Mokono Parish and our Lord of Africa, Mokono Campus. Next is uh, Reverend Father Dr. Godfrey Mboa, the parish priest of Sepa, the pastoral coordinator Lugazi Diocese, and is a former chaplain here. Thank you, Father, for joining us. Next to him is Father Clement Bakachi. Father stays with me in Seta Parish. We have Father Walusimbi, John Mary Vianney. You know Father very well, he works in Namiriango Parish. And Father Moses Oboth. Father works in Mukono Parish. And lastly, Father Mugambe. Father Mugambe works in Bukerere Parish. Father, thank you so much for joining us. I will not introduce the bishop, you already know him. And myself, Father Buavi Gerard, the chaplain, our Lady of Africa, Namiriango. Thank you so much. I will hand over the microphone to our MSC for the next session. Thank you. The Lord is good and all the time. Our dear Bishop, Right Reverend. Bishop Christopher Kakoza, on behalf of Our Lady of Africa community, we are very grateful for honoring our invitation and celebrating for us Mass where our students have received the confirmation and others have had solemn commitment. The entire school joined me to thank our Bishop. Our dear priests, we thank you so much, not only today, but always spiritually nourishing us on various occasions and giving us sacraments. We are very grateful. Thank you so much. Our altar servers, thank you so much. Altar servers of the day, may God bless you. Join me to thank our choir that has animated today's Mass. Thank you so much. May God bless you. I thought uh, everyone would clap better than that for our choir. Thank you so much, Senior 2 Orange, Senior 5 Arts 2, is it Arts? <laughs> Senior 5 Science A 2, the Physics class, and the rest of the members of the usual choir. May God bless you for the great work you have done. 
Our students who have received the confirmation, we pray that you continue to remain strong in your faith, as well as those who have had solemn commitment. In especially is the presence of the Chairman Board of Governors, Mr. Moses Senyonjo. Also, I recognize the presence of our director, Mr. Matovu Vincent. I also recognize the presence of our dear principal, Mrs. Matovu. You are most welcome. I recognize the presence of the head teacher, Our Lady of Africa, Namiriango. And I also recognize the presence of the head teacher, Our Lady of Africa, Mukono Campus. I also recognize the presence of all administrators that next to the head teachers have been represented by the DOS level, Mr. Sejongo Samuel. Other administrators are within there. Mr. Adimo Ambrose, thank you so much for the great work. <laughs> Deputy Head Teacher Administration. Uh, at this point, we are going to have a request our dear Bishop and all the co celebrants. We come and have this moment to have a few souvenir photographs, and after that, the souvenir photographs. Mr. Mugabe Gerard will be the MC of the next session. The first photograph will be with the bishop and the core celebrants, the priests. servers have you forgotten our next photograph will be the bishop the priests the director and the principal request the men on the cameras to notify us that they are through. Uh, our next photograph will be the, the bishop, the director, and the principal. I also request, I request the family of Mr. and Mrs. to come. After this photograph, it will be members of the board present with a direct bishop. In that order, we shall have the bishop and the administrators of our Lady of Africa schools. I request members of the board present members of the board present after this rough it will be the next one will be the bishop and the administrators of all of africa schools 
After that photograph, I am requesting all staff members here present, please you all come forward and we have this souvenir photograph. Administrators present, I members of staff to also come at this moment. Dear members of staff, dear members of staff, yes. Thank you so much, staff members. Our next photograph will be... Students who have received the confirmation, you will be the next after members of staff. Please come. And I start with the girls who have had the the boys the other side, and after the committee, students who have had the final commitment. Girls here, boys the other side, when I tell you, please administrators remain behind as if that photo was not clearly taken. And I have boys next to, the, around there, when I call you, come forward. Girls who have had the confirmation, come forward. The boys can hold on. Please, can you please balance, as you always say that balance the boat, can you balance the photo? Girls who are on the extreme left, come to this side. After that, I'll have the boys that have received confirmation. I have members of who have had Solomon commitment next to me here. Dolan lead the group. To see me the Ethan Senior One report to the academics office. Can I have the boys? Can I have the boys? I'm requesting our music director, Mr. Michael Sitakange, you send for me at least some members of the choir to have the photograph with the bishop. Boys, move faster. Can I have the liturgy team with whom we have organized this function next to me here? That will be the last photograph, and I'll tell you what is next.
hope all of us who have had who have cameras who have already taken the the photographs that fo we have taken that photo can i have students of La solomon commitment coming forward after this one Can I have Solomon commitment members coming forward? Choir next. Make sure they can visibly see you with the camera. come forward students who form the liturgy committee to organize this function come forward and we have the photo with the bishop didn't know that the choir had candidates. Okay. Thank you so much. Teachers in liturgy and all the liturgy team of students remain here in the photo. Thank you so much. The Lord is good. And all the time. I request the choir to give us a, a song or a hymn. We are going to have a break, not for all of us who are sitting in the tent. Of course, it will be a break anyway for all of us. The priests are going to get back where the procession started from and unvest, and then after 10 minutes, we shall be back here for the next session that will be in the hands of Mr. Mugabe Gerard. Thank you so much.
we all rise Thank you so much, prayer. And in the same spirit, we'll be welcoming back the bishop in the next seven minutes. Listen carefully. Everyone listen carefully. Wherever you have gone, I'm giving you five minutes to be here. We are going to have lunch a quarter past I want to take one. All the other session is going to, we are going to use the remaining minutes of this hour of midday of noon and then we get to our cafeteria for lunch to see me Ethan you needed by the secretary at the deputy's office. I've given students five minutes. You're left with three minutes to all be in the tent.
If other people are having uh, three minutes, choir, you have one minute to be here. Okilo Delk Walcott, come next to me here. Okilo. Our dear parents, you are most welcome. Thank you so much for your support, your generosity, and above all, thank you for loving our Lady of Africa schools. And it, today in particular, you have come to our Lady of Africa, Namiriango your children receiving confirmation and solemn commitment. Dear parents, we assure you of our commitment to our work academically and also to spiritually attend to the needs of our children, our students. Dear parents and all our visitors, the places of convenience that we shall we are to use, we shall use the staff areas of convenience down here as we pros proceed to the canteen and the dining. We are after this this ground with pavers. The students in this school call it the desert. How to access, you'll use the other side where the procession came from.
your respective seats. Keep me. 
Okay. Can I have every student back to the tents? Ladies and gentlemen, students who are up there, please come to this ground. All students should leave the campings and come back here. Come back. We are take your positions. We are we are welcoming the bishop with the song we had for post communion. Choir members do that very fast. up there please come back here form ones and form twos of your classrooms and come back please thank you we are running this function such that in a way that will enable us to have lunch at the usual time we shall have lunch at a half past one. You are here working in this place. I worship you. Choir members, I need all the seats filled as they were during Mass. Moving in a mist. I worship you. I worship you.
students here and our prefects please guide those students who might have forgotten what's going on here we don't expect students in classes and I believe those ones who are the canteen Abound their last item, if any. We intend to leave this place as early as possible because we are seeing the weather is a little changing. expect that all the choir members are in their respective positions because we have been informed that uh, our Lord Bishop is coming back here already. So the choir members,
students who are still walking about. You quicken your steps, please.
and we officially have this function opened. We shall begin with the anthems. I will call the students who are still seated. I can see the senior six class, senior four. Let's all rise. Those kids who are supposed to take us through the anthems. Uta Wagera, Berlin from all of Africa Junior School, please. We shall have Uganda Anthem shall have Uganda anthem and then we shall have the school anthem. Oh Uganda may God uphold thee we lay our future in thy hands you Cooperation now and oneness. We 
Dear Bishop, Bishop Christopher Kakosa, our chaplain, the priest present, board of governors, the staff members, our beloved parents, the prefectorial body, the students' body, good afternoon. My name is Ayabale Dolan. I'm in S1 Cream. I'm here on behalf of the candidates of confirmation and solemn commitment to delightfully welcome you to this mighty institution, Our Lady of Africa, Namirianko. This mighty institution, Our Lady of Africa, Namirianko, is gratefully for the is gratefully for the efforts you have put in to come to Our Lady of Africa. May we all give a round of applause to our bishop. We now thank the catechists, our dear teachers, who have encouraged us and taught us to be good and faithful Christians, and we promise to follow what they have taught us. Dear bishop, we thank you for honoring our invitation. We have received the gifts of the Holy Spirit. 
and we shall grow deeper in our faith. Our dear Bishop, as your name is Christopher, the bearer of Christ, you have brought Christ to us. May Saint Christopher, the patron of travelers, int intercede for you as you travel back home. And may you and may he also grant you more golden years of prosperity. Thank you for listening. All of you ever forward. Thank you so much. Can we appreciate them with another round of applause as they take their seats? Indeed, you have been a very wonderful representative of your group. At this time, uh, I would like to recognize, amidst us, we have our sister schools, that is Oled of Africa Junior School, located in Bukasa. Can I have the representatives just to stand up and wave to us? Yeah, that, those are from Oled of Africa Junior School. Thank you for coming. We have Oled of Africa Senior Secondary School in Mokono representatives. They are among the governments. But I've seen Aisha just just waving. Okay, they are that side. You are very welcome. And then we have our Red of Africa since the second school Namiriango. Yeah, if you don't stand up just wave to us, you are indeed very welcome. At this time, let's have a student representative, none other than Ariho Philippa. You're welcome. Our dearest Bishop, the priest, the catechist, all religious leaders present, our board of governors, our hardworking administrators, our committed staff, our lovely parents, my fellow sisters, our distinguished students, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, listening. My name is Ariho Philippa the Vice Assembly Minister of this amazing institution, Our Lady of Africa, Namiriango. We are very grateful to you, Your Lordship, Right Reverend Bishop Christopher Kakosa, and all the priests for animating the Mass. Thank you very much, the choir, for unleashing your powerful and angelic voices. Thank you, the congregation, for making this day very lively. Thank you, our director, Mr. Matovu, and our principal, Mrs. Matovu, for organizing such a delightful function. Thank you very much, the priests, the parish, and our catechists for the pastoral services you offer to us time to time. When we became senior ones at Our Lady of Africa Namiliango, we always heard from the learners who had spent at least a year here talking about the annual events that take place. Among them was the bishop's visit in Sarkam, the MDD concert, the educational trips, to mention but a few. However, the event that we could not wait to attend was the bishop's visit to the school. We could not imagine what it would be like to host such a, dig a dignified and beloved minister of God like your Lordship. We were so eager for that 23rd September, and here we are. Indeed, Mr. and Mrs. Matovu, thank you very much for letting this day happen. And to you, your Lordship, thank you for honoring this invitation. 
This day will always dwell in our deepest and happiest memories, especially for the senior one students. Dear candidates of Our Lady of Africa, Namiliango, 2023, you are very honored to have the bishop before you before you sit for your final examinations. For other schools may not be able to host the bishop, but for you, you are honored. I continue to thank everyone who has helped to make this day a success. I remain Ariho Philippa, Senior One Maroon. Thank you for listening to me. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Ariho. You have ably represented all the students, and I believe uh, all the prefects are equally well represented. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, the reason why we are seeing people is coming, I'm saying senior one is senior one, senior one, it is to show that the foundation indeed matters a lot. Here we saw someone from uh, out of Africa, junior school, singing us in the Uganda anthem. It's a clear indicator that the foundation is indeed very, very important. Ladies and gentlemen, join me to welcome our beloved head teacher. Madam, the audience is very eager to hear from you. You're very welcome. Can we clap till she reaches here? Hey, there we go. Is that enough? Let us march on. Let us march on. Let us march on. The Lord is good. And all the time. Before I say anything further, I request to allow us to warm our hands for the next instruction. We are going to give our bishop a very big Asant Sala. Can you hear my hands? Asant Sala. That's the team. My Lord the Bishop, our dear priests, our dear directors, parents and guardians present, professional colleagues from the sister campuses, that is all of Africa Senior Secondary School Mukono and all of Africa Junior School Mukasa and all other distinguished guests, dear children of God, and in particular, those that have received confirmation and those that have taken the solemn commitment in faith, visitors and friends of all of Africa schools, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Allow me to take this profound opportunity to welcome you, my Lord Bishop, and the entire congregation present to our Lady of Africa Senior Secondary School. You are most welcome. Please feel at home. This is our school and this is our home. Can we give a hand clap to all our visitors? We thank you so much, our Lord Bishop, for whom I our invitation, and in particular, for accepting to preside over this function in our school. 
despite your tight schedule. May we glorify the Lord always for this day. We thank you for the so many activities that you have performed today in our school. One, for celebrating Mass and giving the sacrament of confirmation and the last commitment to our dear students. In a special way, we thank our parish priest, Reverend Ignatius Chivumbi, and our school chaplain, Reverend Father Dr. Gerard Wenvu, who gave us the opportunity to have this function held at our campus. Maybe they will have chosen another campus somewhere. Can we give them a hand clap? We also thank the catechists for adequately preparing our children. And we also thank these children for accepting to renew their baptism promises. We congratulate you, dear children, upon this achievement. Let us always pray for one another to build the holy families for the foundation of a vibrant church. To the confirmants, those who have received the confirmation today, you have received the gifts of the Holy Spirit to guide you and those that have had the so main commitment together to fully participate in the work of evangelization and be true witnesses to the truth of the gospel in the world and in action. We have a very clear vision of bringing up morally upright, academically sound and culturally sensitive citizens. Our mission, we provide quality and affordable education. Our motto is ever forward, and we also cherish, we cherish very many core values, but the most eye-catching among them are two. That is one, God-fearing and respect for all. Whoever enters this institution, we respect that person in whatever category he or she belongs. We work as a team to promote the school motto, which is ever forward, for all the students in order to forge ahead. Dear Bishop, I want to bring it to your notice that our Lord of Africa, Senior Secondary School, Namiriango, is one of the best schools which have excelled academically for the past 20 years. Dear staff, as we continue to work with and in this institution, we look forward to achieving more. We do have to think of three things summarized in three Ds. One, dedication, which touches all of us, the students, the staff, and the parents. Discipline, we all must be disciplined and then we must be devoted people. My Lord the Bishop, allow me to conclude by appreciating in a special way the directors of this school, Mr. and Mrs. Matton, for all the support and candid advice often given to the staff and the children. The entire staff for their commitment and all their students for their enthusiasm to learn. I thank you very much sincerely for fixing time in your program and be with us today. Please enjoy your stay in our of Africa. I also want to conclude by thanking the choir, that is Senior 5 Science A2 and Senior 2 Orange. You have made this day very colorful. You deserve a very big hand clap. And to the entire students community, Thank you so much for active participation in this function, and above all, the discipline that you have exhibited. I wish I could clap for you. Can we clap for ourselves for being very disciplined? May the Almighty God reward the work of your hands, and ever forward remains the school motto. My name is Sariet Matovu, and I was a head teacher of Valley of Africa. Thank you so much for listening. I want to introduce these two people as we step down. On my right, I have Mr. Kasumba Paulo. Mr. Kasumba changed. <laughs> Mr. Kasumba Paulo is this side on my left. 
and is the head teacher of Valley of Africa Senior Secondary School, Mukono. Can you welcome him? And on my right, I have the tallest man in this school. Mm. That is Mr. Sejungo Samuel, the boss in charge of Enovo. Thank you so much. Uh, the head teacher, before you take your seat, I would request you to invite for us the board representative to speak to us, please. I take this honor to invite the chairperson of the board, Mr. Senyonjo Moses Timba. Please come and speak to us. The Lord is good. And all the time. Thank you, thank you. My Lord Bishop, the Right Reverend Christopher Kakosa, the Education Secretary Amidistas, the chaplain of this great institution, the pastoral coordinator, the parish priest present, the rest of the priests, and allow me go by the protocol as identified by the head teacher. Today is a special day. And amid stars is a friend, the Bishop of Lugazi Diocese. I want to thank you, Bishop, for the wonderful work you've done amid stars. Thank you so much for the function you've just concluded, the confirmation of our beloved students and those who are for the last commitment. We appreciate you so much. Thank you so much, Bishop. Mine today, first of all, is to appreciate. And I must say that I'm very proud. Very proud as the chairperson, board of governors of Our Lady of Africa schools. And in, in particular, Our Lady of Africa Namiyango campus. And I want to make it public today, as a person, by making a special appreciation to the management of the school. As a governing body, we come and plan and come up with policies for the running of this institution. But it's one thing to come up with the policies and they go documented on the paper and quite another for the policies to be implemented. So it's at this point in time and in the presence of the bishop that I want to appreciate the administrators in this school. Thank you so much for running this school very well. Thank you. I want to thank the students' community for the wonderful discipline you always depict wherever you are 
and I repeat, wherever you are. It's not here because the bishop is around. We followed you on several occasions wherever you go. Thank you so much for representing our Red of Africa schools very well. Thank you, thank you. And to the parents, again before the bishop, this has happened because you gave it a start. The upbringing of a child differently stems from home. You build the first, you put there the first brick, and then we add on. Thank you so much. Our students are what they are. They behave the way they behave because, of course, you morally brought up them very well. We appreciate. And of course, I cannot forget, as chair board of governors, to thank you so much for the support of this institution. You're quite aware that there are, there are several schools in this country, but look at the support you've given us, as reflected in this audience of the students. We cannot take it for granted. Thank you so much, and we appreciate. Finally, I want to thank my Lord Bishop. Thank you so much for sparing your time. And thank you so much for the love you have for our schools. Not only our Lady of Africa schools, but a series of schools attached to our Lady. We are indeed very, very grateful. And we wish you, and I'm wishing you, and the entire clergy, a wonderful stay while you're with us. Thank you so much. Uh, in the same vein, our chair, one board of governors will request you to invite for us the director of the school to speak to us. And they are here now. Thank you. The Lord is good. And all the time, I always ask you, is that enough for the love of God? Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to be very fast. I know why you are not clapping to the maximum. My Lord, Bishop, Right Reverend Christopher Kakoza, the Bishop of Ugazi Diocese, our parish priest, Reverend Father Ignatius Chivumbi, the school chaplain, Reverend Father Dr. Gerard Buenvu, all our priests present, the Board of Governors representatives, head teachers from our of Africa schools, members of staff, both teaching and non-teaching staff, dear our beloved parents, and all my sons and daughters, dear our students, Good afternoon. Let us march on. Let us march on. Let us march on. Our dear shepherd, Bishop Christopher Kakoza, we thank you for having this pastoral visit to our of Africa SS. Namiriango. But in a special way, we thank you for celebrating Mass where our students have received the sacrament of confirmation and the last commitment in faith. We do not just feel honored 
that we are also blessed by your visit. My Lord Bishop, this is your second visit to our of Africa SS Namiyango. If I could remember, the first visit was in 2019. We celebrated Mass in the other side of the campus. We thank you for the blessings that time which have kept us moving on and moving forward as the motto stands for the school. My Lord Bishop, our Lord of Africa schools have grown, but allow me not this, that this year we celebrated 20 years of abundant harvest for our Lord of Africa, SS, Amiriango. We also celebrated 10 years of abundant harvest for our Lord of Africa, SS, Mukono. We have not only grown in years, we have grown in terms of infrastructure, we have grown in terms of academics, but most important to note, we have grown in faith. My Lord Bishop, we are grateful for the continuous support and guidance to the private schools all in Rugazi Diocese. But most important to thank you for the support and guidance to our of Africa schools. My Lord Bishop, we pledge our support to the church and commitment to the Catholic values. Our dear parish priest and champlain, we thank you for the valuable spiritual nourishment to this school and in a special way, the guidance you have given to us as we are organizing this day. We thank you so much. My Lord Bishop, thank you so much for this pastoral visit. To you, our parents, we thank you so much for the continued support to our children, our students, and we thank you so much for the spiritual support that you give to these students. We urge you to continue with that support. My Lord Bishop and all our visitors, the main function is over. And I know from here, after all what is going to be done, you will move back home. I therefore wish you the best day and safe journey as you move back home. Ever forward remains the motto for our Red of Africa schools. Thank you. In a special way, I will not introduce all the rest who have been introduced. Uh, allow me to introduce to you the love of my heart.
Lilian Matovu. Who is the key to the growth and development of this school, but in a special way in my life? I'll invite our son and daughters here. But I know these uh, very hard working girls and son. They must be already arranging for the bishop where we are going to have lunch. Thank you so much, my Lord Bishop, for the support to this school. Thank you so much, our dear director. Can we appreciate our beloved director with a hand clap as they take their seats? Thank you so much, thank you so much for always loving us and uh, sharing that love for that the students. Thank you, thank you so much. At this very time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we are going to have yet another speech from our very own. I would request uh, those teams I've already talked to that are going to entertain our Lord Bishop to be preparing after the, the next speech. You will be the ones to entertain us. So ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together and we welcome our chaplain, Reverend Father Dr. Gerard Wembo. You are very welcome. My Lord Bishop, the Bishop of Lugas Diocese, the Director and the Principal of Our Lady of Africa Schools, the Chairperson Board of Governors, our dear parish priest, the parish, the, the pastoral coordinator and all the clergy present, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus. You shall allow me to speak in two capacities. One, as the chaplain, our Lady of Africa, Namiriango, and then briefly, I will speak in the capacity of the Education Secretary for the Diocese. As chaplain, Bishop, I want to, first of all, to thank you for accepting, I'll put it in quotes, for sneaking in this day in your program. Officially, this day was not on the pastoral program of the bishop. The school that was officially on the pastoral program of the bishop was Our Lady of Africa, Mukono. And we had that function with the bishop emeritus. But after sitting here and uh, saying, Our Lady of Africa, Mukono, yes, it is a sister school. But we are juniors to our Lady of Africa, Namiriango. We decided to go and talk to the bishop to come here this year. And the bishop did not hesitate. He gave us this day, and we are with him. So, bishop, we want to thank you for accepting to sneak this day in your program, your pastoral program for allowing to come and confirm our students. Secondly, Bishop, in your presence, I want to thank the director and the principal of this school. Through their administrators, for allowing almost every spiritual activity to take place in this school. It is a true manifestation of their faith. Each of these learners have spiritual clubs, they have the region of Mary, they have sacred heart, they have 
almost all spiritual clubs. They will have mass regularly every Sunday and then every big day of the church. They regularly have the sacrament of the penance. And these are all facilitated very well by the director and the principal. I want to thank them in your presence. Thank you so much. And I want also to, to, to say that uh, the director and the principal assembled a very committed team here. For sure, to be honest, most of the work is done by that team here, headed by the teacher chaplain, Mr. Chivure. <laughs> Mr. Chivure here, Bishop, at first I used to think he was an ex-seminarian, only to learn that he is a son who has grown up from this school, right from senior on up to today, where he serves as a teacher. He's very well committed to matters pertaining our faith. I want to thank him in your presence and his team. I also want to thank the team of our student leaders, the liturgy team in your presence. They are very committed and very organized. Bishop, we want to thank you so much once again for finding time to come and celebrate with us as our Lady of Africa. We have a big population of Catholic students here. The priests who usually come here for mass can testify what we go through at the time of giving out Holy Communion. It is not an easy job, but we want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Matovu for collecting all our Catholics from all the corners of this country and putting them into our hands and for giving us ample time to teach them, to preach to them. It's a big Catholic community. And these students are very well behaved, the Catholics and non-Catholics. I want to thank all of you, the Catholics and non-Catholics, for behaving and for always giving value to Mass. Every time we have mass, mass as, entire, as the entire community, you rarely notice that they are non-Catholics because they all participate well and they praise their God. I want to thank you so much. I want to wish you well in your studies. Bishop, in the second capacity as the Education Secretary, I want to thank two people here. Mr. Matovu and Mr. Moses Chiyimba Senyonjo. They are on the education board of the diocese. They are very busy and very committed to their duties. But within the busy schedules, they always find the time to make a contribution to the diocese in the area of education. Mr. Senyonjo is a board member to a number of schools, as you know. Mr. Matovu is very active in the affairs of Namibiango College, and also as the education board member of the diocese. And we have done a lot. We run to them for advice, and I want to tell you that they have done a lot for our schools in the diocese. In your presence, I want to thank them for the many things they have done for us as a diocese. I want to end here by wishing you a safe journey, Bishop, as you go back home. And also to continue asking Mother Mary, Our Lady of Africa, to pray for us always. Thank you so much. Thank you, our dear chaplain. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, at this time, dear ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have an interlude from Arab of Africa Junior School.
Okasa, and I request Madam, who is leading that team, please, we are eagerly waiting to be entertained. Uh, meanwhile, a lot of Africa Secondary School Namiriango should also come on board and be ready immediately after we have had the entertainment from the junior school, we shall also be entertained uh, by the senior school. Our Lord Bishop kindly request, uh, we request that you accept this entertainment from these your junior children. Here they are. For those who don't know where our of Africa Junior School is located, we are located in Wokasa. And we have another branch, which is our Lady of Africa Secondary School in Mukono. Africa Junior School in Wukasa? Eh, hey, talk about it. All of the Africa Junior School in Wukasa is located in Wukasa, Chirinia. They have a lot division. It has a qualified staff which, pro which provides quality education. They are free, discipline, co curricular activities. They are excellent. It produces a realistic child.
It's amazing that the Amar of the news that happens in our world daily doesn't exactly fit the newspaper. A very fresh good morning to you all here. It's exactly 49 minutes but no one will look. The news brought to you by Kesha. These are the news highlights. The right Reverend Bishop Christopher Kakoza confirms hundreds of Our Lady of Africa students. The music battle leaves Shiva holy speechless. Uganda mourns the death of a legend. All our receives are huge standby generator. Environmental conservation. The news in details. The right Reverend Bishop Christopher Kakoza confirms hundreds of Our Lady of Africa students. Let's hear from the reporter. It has been joy. It has been joy, excitement, pleasure, when the when the management staff Students and teachers, students. <laughs> when the students of Joy, excitement, and pleasure when the when the management, staff, and students of Our Lady of Africa schools receive Bishop Christopher Kakoza, the Bishop of, the Bishop of Bugazi, Bugazi Diocese this morning. Bishop Kakoza, during the Mass, which started at 10 a.m., confirmed hundreds of students from Our Lady of Africa, SS Mukono, and Our Lady of Africa, SS Namriango. In his homily, the servant of God has urged the confirmance and all of us to be com committed to our Committed to our faith and all of us. The music battle leaves Shiba Holy speechless. Cinderella's son knew the king of Sof and Shiba Karunji, aka Queen Shiba. First of in a music battle organized by Victoria University at Kololo Air Trip. In a show that the never audience electrified, the two musicians value out on stage on 15th September 2023. The battle proved to be unforgettable since it is finally with her soulful voice and energetic dance proved her to be a king of soul and this left Shiba. Yes.
was that show? The show was nice. Which Cindy song did you enjoy the most? A song of Cindy. Ayo Chaicha was nice. I also like Boom Party. Cindy is talented. Are you saying she's talented? Yeah. You are well wishing unlike others. They pretend they are liars. Cindy is talented. Cindy's problem is just gossip. The thing about her. Go ahead. That this thing she has, if she can get rid of it, she is talented. Which advice do you give her as a colleague? But talent is not the only thing you need to be a star. She should research other things that have made me a star.
Rest in peace. <laughs> Good May, say. May God give comfort to his family. All of the six are hit by a generator. None of your Maria has the news in details. A standby generator was installed for solving a problem of electricity outages. Many learners did were seen out celebrating the installation of a generator. This left Mr. Opio speaking to himself on evening assembly. The six people's eyes were focused on the vehicle. The lazy learners were in corners complaining. Prestige. Prestige gathering is good for everyone. When you eat, it makes your body grow strong and healthy. So are you spreading Prestige? I love it. Prestige gathering. Thank you so much for being back from the commercial break. Let's continue with our news. Our theme of the week has been environmental conservation. As we are putting in place environmental conservation measures, we gathered information from different regional leaders and residents to see what is actually taking place on the ground and how this has been implemented. Let's have that. Chikuonya, chikuonya, oh, 
Thank you so much. That was Masivo Jaden Ruvale, Youth Councillor, Mwemba Parish, Busia District. Let's have another one. Menda Oxima, Kuram Ksaguno, Ogumpereiva. Amai Nagange, Nize, Mpareoge, Ajeri, Nguizela. Ocha Miwa Musebe na Mazingiri Nenda Okunga Ava Sogava Nange Okuma Ovtende Waife Nevi Tweto Reide Kuranga El Mukule Mumba Dari Solo Ela Tulifunamu Emele Mele Rugaiga Era katuvenga tukuma obutende bwaife bulungi busoga afuvuwe muveo mirala Thank you so much that was for Gila Jolin a resident from Chedogoma village let's have another one Afa mate dano ngati no kivita onyanya ingeri damu kene Pira Jenny Wa and Yogi Guana Kitian Benegi Tadi Tigi No Chene Me Peng School Fees Palutini Kime Peng P Benegi Pira Yat Gingala Tigi No But Bow Me Get Our Art and Fall Thank you so much. That was Lucky Victor Chizuela, Chairman LC5 Nebi District. Let's have another one. Thank you so much. My name is Martina Maila Chavaleta, the Minister for Water and Environment. I urge all Ugandans to stop dumping polythene bags and plastics anyhow, for they make the soil infertile. They can also be put in gazetted places for recycling. Once you are caught dumping them, you will pay a fancy of 15 million or you'll be in prison for 40 years. So, stay home. Thank you. Thank you so much, it was. Thank you so much, that was Nakazuma Matina Maila Chavaleta, the Minister for Water and Environment. Thank you so much for listening. Have a blessed day. Thank you, thank you. That has been uh, the students from uh, the children from our lady of Africa Junior School, Casa. Can we appreciate them with a round of applause? Hey, thank you, thank you very much. We have been having an educative session here, and now on stage we have students from our lady of Africa Senior Secondary School, Namiriango, with an entertainment. It's a
And whoever is sent here comes back and says, Father, this school is wonderful. The community is wonderful. It's lively. The sea is wonderful. They have a very beautiful choir. There's a song which they sing, which I like most. Whenever they sing, they say, these people are very, are very practicing witchcraft here. Because the way it's what I hear, to my understanding of feeling, is that the whole spirit they say, look at your tent, look at your tent, they say these people, let's look at, look at you. Look at you, it's for look at. So this group sings that, look, look at, they look at you, somebody, let's go. But that's an expression of the song. So it's a very big community, which we enjoy. This is our job group and this team. Support this past very, very much. Uh, all the second time, they spend a lot of time for the students to come over to the parish to bring up our prayer currency. It's first time, it's the first time, it's the first time, but this is a lot of university, this is the school. So we thank you for many of you. Recently, the school board has pews, very beautiful pews, pews. In our church, in church of Nyago, this is our Thank you very, very much. We appreciate it. And recently, the same school work for us. For us. This is Mass. The chalice has for you. They are very beautiful and they are very grateful. Thank you for supporting the parents in various ways. And we pray that you continue to exist it and you continue on with the work. All the different young people. I want to thank our teachers here, the staff, thank you for the work that. And I want to appreciate the teacher and our countries for guiding the wonderful work of certain days the young people who are being committed and performed in the faith. Now we are receiving a visitor special. I don't want to wait that much time. I want to take this opportunity to invite our Lord, Mercy. To address us. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, God wants me to send you away. And that is what I am trying to do. I thank you very much for this celebration. And I want to wish you God's blessing. May you have a very beautiful night. God bless you. Thank you so much, our Bishop. And uh, the candidates of Celia 4 and Celia 6 requested that uh, we bless them that you will be where you are because of the weather. We will request you to stand up and then you are willing to come. Okay, you come. But be gentle. Hey, what happened? Just be down. Representatives, in case you are a very big town.